Every year, millions of Muslims from all over the world make a pilgrimage or Hajj to Mecca, Saudi Arabia, the birthplace of Muhammad and of Islam. The Hajj is one of the five pillars of Islam and so is required of all Muslims who are able to make the trip which is considered the journey of a lifetime. The main reason Muslims take this pilgrimage is to seek the forgiveness of their sins by Allah. Muhammad said that if people perform the Hajj correctly, they will be free from all their sins as if he were born anew. As Christians, we know that the desire to have sins forgiven by God runs deep in all of our hearts. For some Muslims, they will finish the pilgrimage in three days. For others, it will take longer. As the pilgrims approach Mecca, many of them are already dressed in white. They are entering into a state of devotion and purity. They will visit the Grand Mosque and finish the day by travelling to Mina, where they will stay in an enormous tent city. Here they will pray, read the Quran and rest for the next day, which is considered the most important day of the Hajj. As dawn breaks, pilgrims travel to the plain of Arafat. Here the pilgrims spend the entire day asking Allah for forgiveness. But the Bible records that John the Baptist said about Jesus Christ, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John 1, 29. The Bible tells us that forgiveness of sins and eternal life are found only through Jesus, God's Son. Pray on this day that Jesus would reveal himself in dreams and visions and that the pilgrims will acknowledge that only the Son of God can make them pure with new hearts, forgiven of all sins because of his atoning work on the cross. At sunrise, pilgrims walk to Mina. Here they throw stones at pillars that represent the temptations of Satan. Muslims believe Abraham was tempted by Satan to not sacrifice his son. After casting the stones, most pilgrims slaughter an animal in remembrance of Abraham that Allah provided a sheep to take his son's place. Today in Mecca and around the Muslim world, sheep, goats and other animals will be slaughtered. This is called Eid al-Adha or the festival of the sacrifice. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Pray that God would open the eyes of Muslims, so that they will understand that Jesus is the promised Lamb that was sacrificed, so that whoever believes by faith may have the forgiveness of sins and eternal life. Pray that they would understand that God spared Abraham's son only because God the Father did not spare the life of his own son, Jesus. Jesus died in our place so that we could be set free and live with him forever. As the main hajj is coming to a close, pilgrims are off to the Grand Mosque and circle around the Kaaba seven times. The pilgrims also walk seven times between two small hills near the Grand Mosque. This is done in remembrance of the plight of Abraham's wife Hagar and her son Ishmael, who desperately thirsted for water in the desert before God showed her a well full of water. Jesus talked with another desperate woman, the Samaritan woman. In John 4, Jesus declared, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. Pray that all Muslims would thirst for Jesus, the living water of life. At this website, you can find a three-day prayer guide to help focus your prayers. May God reveal himself to the followers of Islam, and may they begin the pilgrimage of following Jesus. In John 14 verse 6, Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Please continue to pray for Muslims all over the world. Ask that they will come to the Father through Jesus.